Guys, it's finally time to go hands-on with a freshly redesigned 2024 Ford F-150. It's the best-selling vehicle in the country, so it's really important for Ford to get this right and maintain their number one sales position. So in this video, I'll be able to show you around this truck. This is a crew cab, XLT, FX4, hybrid, with all the latest tech. Uh, I'll be able to show you this truck. Also, I can go over some of the trim levels and pricing because Ford actually simplified their lineup and uh, they took some stuff away. So yeah, and I have a couple of issues with that. So we'll be able to discuss all of this, but we got to start with styling up front. This is a mid-cycle refresh. It's been three years since this generation, the 14th gen of the truck came out and Ford is doing it with grills. Each trim level basically gets its own grill. This is a blacked out XLT. You have a new Ford emblem, which is now pretty flat and also very high contrast. I really like the way it looks. And also the headlamps. New headlamp designs across the board. And I really love this amber line in the middle. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Ford also redesigned the tail lamp. And at first glance, if you see it from a distance, this kind of looks like an F-150 Lightning. So you gotta be careful, but it's not a Lightning, of course. It's a regular F-150 and this is a hybrid. It has some sensors built in because this truck is technology laden. You have blind spot monitoring uh, radar here built in. And of course, parking sensors integrated into the bumper. Engines, let's take a look. Like I said, this is a hybrid and the engines really don't change for 2024 model year in the F-150 lineup, but one engine is actually gone. It's the base V6 non-turbo engine. That's completely gone. If you're buying an XL two-door short cab work truck, then you can have a V8. The five liter is still here. So thank goodness the V8 is still available. Then there's a 2.7 EcoBoost, 3.5 EcoBoost, 3.5 hybrid, like here, high output EcoBoost 3.5, and of course that Raptor R. But the Raptor R is a whole different video for another time, so please come back to oldtfl.com for future reviews. They're coming in just about a week or so. Power numbers are identical to before. This hybrid produces 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. 23 mpg combined, 24 on the highway. This is still fairly efficient and fairly powerful unit. I used to own a 2021 F-150 hybrid, so I'm very familiar with this system. As I told you at the top of this video, this is an XLT trim of the F-150, which basically means one of the most popular trims that most people buy. And it's not very fancy. It's kind of sort of in the middle of their lineup. That being said, cloth seats. Uh, this does not have a six-person configuration, although some of those are available. And this does have this giant center console. You could hide the transmission shifter down, 10-speed automatic all the way around, no matter which F-150 you're buying. It creates a surface here for having lunch or working. Of course, a large storage area in the center. And actually, this is not much different from where it was, but every truck now gets large infotainment screens. So they're kind of simplifying some of the choices you have to make uh, when buying an F-150, which sounds great, but the price also increases. And I'll let you know how much this truck costs in just a little bit. Let me power up. This being a hybrid, Sorry about that. This being a hybrid, you don't initially hear the engine start up. You could see my RPM is still zero. And it's been like this for the F-150 hybrid, what for now three plus years that it's been available. This is a full hybrid, but it's not a plug-in, which means that there's an electric motor sandwich between the engine and the front and the transmission. So this truck technically can drive around on electricity alone, but really just not very far. 
but that electric motor enhances the power of this truck and some of the efficiency. And when you slow down, you can also recoup some of that energy. The battery is hiding behind the cab, actually below the, like inside the frame rails. So it's not in the cab. I'll show you the rear seat space in a second. So you're not losing any interior space. And the fuel tank is around 30 and a half gallons, which considering 23 combined MPG, this truck could have over 600 miles of range, easy peasy. Now let's take a look at some technology features here. First of all, stuff I love, like the inverter. This is 40 amps, 120 volts, lots of power, not just for your like laptops, but also some tools potentially that you can power and charge. This being a little bit more of a simple truck, it does have four high and four low, which is awesome. It does not have four auto. That's reserved for fancier F-150s. It does have a rear locking differential, which is really great. It is an FX4, and it does have, have those all-terrain tires I'll show you in a bit. Trailer brake controller is really, really accessible, really easy to use. I love that. Pro trailer backup assist um, feature still requires a sticker like this so you put the sticker on the tongue of your trailer configure the system and then you can actually back up your truck with the trailer this also may can also can be equipped with uh, smart hitch basically which um, tells you the payload of your truck this one doesn't have it this one does have pro power on board that you can monitor 7.2 kilowatts of total energy and i can actually sh uh, go to another location i can show you another f-150 powering a lot of different equipment it's may in california desert near palm springs and it's about 106 degrees fahrenheit and you see this air conditioner yes well there's actually three of them here one over here one by me one over here and you see this cable they're all being powered by the hybrid. This is a new F-150 right here, and it's a Platinum. And also, it's displaying the latest tailgate for the truck. So it opens, it can be powered up, and of course down. And then it has this new midsection. They call it Pro Access. You put your finger here on the driver's side, click it, and open it. It has several in places where it stops, about 37 degrees, about 70 degrees, and 100 degrees. And they're also powering a fridge right here. And chief engineer told me that this fridge may have some ice cream. Ah, yes. Okay, so that's for later. I, I think I deserved an ice cream after being in the heat. But this is just a display of what's possible with the F-150 hybrid. It also can power a grill like this, stereos. We've showed an F-150 hybrid power a house, power an electric car while towing an electric car at the same time. So a lot of things are possible. I also want to show you inside of this truck because this is platinum. For 2024, there is no more limited. I think it's a little bit out of a choice, but it's still nice because this Platinum is around. And this is now the top end luxury truck for F-150 lineup in 2024. And you could see different materials, metals, woods. Of course, this double, double glove box. And just take a look at the leather quilted, ventilated and heated, fully reclinable. Oh, everything is super nice, has a massaging feature, leather wrapped steering wheel. Up here, you see this indent in the dash? A heads-up display is now available in the F-150 and this Platinum has it. Has slightly different design of this top of the dash here as well. Yeah, I, I think this is a really nice, beautiful place to be. This truck has four-wheel drive automatic mode as well. Like I told you, some fans here F-150s do have it, and this one does. Yeah, this is pretty nice, but the price starts near 75, 
thousand bucks and can be a little bit higher with a few options. And in case you're wondering how long can a truck like this power equipment over there? Well, it's running right now about 800 watts, not even pushing the system at all. And so, yeah, it can do it for days at this rate you see right here. I'm looking around this truck and I'm impressed about how many features actually they added to the XLT. I would expect that those features to come in on a more fancy F-150. Uh, for example, also wireless charging. That's pretty nice. USB and USB-C outlets, heated seats. That's a nice touch. Large screen I already talked about. 360 degree cameras. That's really nice. Hill descent control. This being an FX4 that it's kind of a base off-roader in the Ford lineup also makes sense. Zone lighting, I can choose different lighting around the vehicle. This is great for camping. For example, my mirror lights, my fronts and rears, my bed lighting as well. That's pretty nice. Also, this new feature. Record any likes dislikes or suggestions about the experiences with your vehicle and then select send huh interesting there's a new feedback system here in the truck owner's manual is digital i love this feature and this feature was also on the older vehicles but you could search it and find information by the way um, i'll tell you about the payload and towing in just a second also power rear glass that's also heated Check out the rear glass. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a sunroof, but it has a lot of other features that I find very useful, including the front visor that extends. Well, this is not new, this huge rear seat. It's still here, lots of space, still the same cab, all aluminum construction for the cab, all aluminum construction for the bed. Of course, it has a pretty high strength steel frame and there's storage here. Like I told you, you're not losing any space because it's a hybrid. That's a really, really nice feature. Because it's a five person configuration, the center console has rear vents, which is great, especially on a hot day like today. Rear 120 volt system. Nice USB-C, two of them and also a 12 volt. So lots of choices and pockets. Both seats have pockets. Why am I surprised by this? Well, because work trucks don't. This is a pleasant surprise. Um, Ford is using different tire from the factory on their FX4 trucks. This is a Wrangler Territory AT, Goodyear Wrangler Territory AT tire, of course, on this blacked out Ram. And it's a 275-65 R18. And I used to have an FX4 in the previous iteration 2021 truck and I had a different tire and this is actually is a good combination between on-road ride highway efficiency and also all-terrain capability this is not a most aggressive tire you could put on this truck but nonetheless I think it's a good compromise of all those things payload and towing numbers this particular truck here has 1,617 pounds of payload and hybrids for 2024 have up to 11,200 pounds of towing, which is about where it was previously, so that's good. But there's a little bit of bad news. Okay, not really bad news, but for 2024, non-hybrid F-150s have up to 13,500 pounds of towing. That's down a bit from the year prior. It was 14,000 pounds before. So this is kind of an odd to see Ford readjusting their towing numbers and not increasing them indefinitely, it seems like they did before, but actually making it a little bit more sense with it. And payload also goes down year to year. Before they had about over 3,000 pounds of payload on their heavy duty payload package F-150. And now maximum payload is 2,000. 455 pounds in an F-150. Still very competitive, but less than before. Ford is doing something else interesting. Do you see the sensor in the A-pillar of the door? And also up here, they are expanding availability of Blue Cruise. So now XLT, Lariat trucks, also Tremors, and King Ranch and Platinums will have 1.2 Blue Cruise available, which means pre-mapped highways, 
it's a driver assistance feature, so you still have to pay attention. That's why those sensors are still watching your eyes and it will give you warnings if you're not paying attention, but they're expanding that availability across more F-150s. So now you know all of the changes for 2024 F-150, but there's a couple more not so good things. First of all, it has to do with available options. The two-door truck is still available and it starts with a V8, like I told you, and that two-wheel drive version of the truck starts at around 37,000 bucks, which is not the lowest in the segment, but still not terrible. But if you wanted a 4x4 F-150 for 2024, you'll have to pay 44,500 for a two-door XL base work truck, 4x4. So that's already, that price is already relatively high in my opinion. This truck is a little bit fancier XLT. It's got the 302A package. Of course, includes LED side mirror spotlights, power rear sliding window, and also blue cruise capability, 4770. The red color, rapid red, 495. The hybrid system itself, the hybrid powertrain is 3560. Actually, this price is not far from where it was before, which is a great price. Black appearance package, 495. Pro Power onboard, 750. Actually, this is not far from where it was three and a half years ago, so I'm glad Ford is keeping this price around. Mo mobile office package, 555, and that includes 5G um, integration, so that's really nice. Tow and haul package, 785, but not maximum towing package. FX4 package, 1095, that's pretty good. Bed liner, 595, about the same as it was before. Final price after destination charges before discounts is 68935 and after discounts is 6535 This is a pretty steep price, even it's an FX4, even it's a hybrid, and yeah, they, they've simplified a lot of this, but the price, it seems like it's just, it's just more than before. I know inflation is there, you know, I'm not going to get into politics or anything like that. Uh, but for an XLT, even though it offers so much, uh, the pricing, in my opinion, is a bit high. Uh, would I change this? I probably wouldn't get Blue Cruise, so I probably wouldn't get the Fence XLT. I would keep a lot of the other features that I listed. So I could save maybe five grand off of this and then bring it a little bit lower. But for a 4x4 starting price of 44.5, uh, yeah, uh, these trucks in general are getting pretty pricey. Here's another demo of the tailgate. Why does it have different stopping positions? Well, because in this first position, it's made so it doesn't hit the tongue of the trailer. Just kind of stops right here. And I do have a step, so I can actually get all the way inside now trucks had beds with indentations for decades but for 2024 ford updated this bed to have even more indents so you can have two by sixes two by eights and you could build your own devices kind of like this just pre to prevent your equipment from slashing around the bed they also have of course their cleats for tying down just like before bed lights, cubbies. So this truck is really, really useful as far as its bed. And of course, this truck right here is the new 2024 F-150 Tremor. It's the next step up over the FX4, and it's a big step. It has a suspension lift, it has unique shocks and springs, has a new front end, has a new modular bumper, and skid plates, and huge tow points, and big 33 inch tall tires and a 5 liter V8 standard or a EcoBoost 3.5. So we're going to do a video about this off-road as a separate video. So once again, come back for that. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Does Ford have enough for 2024 models to keep fighting and stay just ahead of GM half-ton trucks and maybe even the Ram and Toyota half-ton trucks. Let me know in the comments below, 
and I'll see you next time at oldtfl.com.